welcome to Serene Soul Journey. I'm Smita, your healer, therapist and life transformation specialist. Today we'll be talking about the second chakra, which is our sacral chakra, which is responsible for pleasure as well as emotions and sexuality. So let's take a look at this chakra and I will talk to you soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, today we will talk about the chakra that is related to our sexuality and emotions. The sacral chakra in detail. The Sanskrit name for the sacral chakra is Swadhisthana. In Sanskrit, Swa means self or one's own, and Adhisthana means dwelling place or abode. Swadhisthana means one's own abode. The element associated with this chakra is water. The first chakra is, was all about solidity. In this chakra, another dimension is added through movement or change. This is indicated by the flow of water. The color associated with this chakra is orange and the symbol associated with this chakra is shown here. The chakra relates to what I feel. So let's take a look at where this chakra exists on the physical body. On the physical body, this chakra is located in the lower abdomen, centered between the navel and the genitals. It corresponds to the nerve ganglion called the sacral plexus. This plexus hooks into the sciatica nerve and is a center of motion for the body. And the endocrine gland associated with this chakra are the ovaries and the testes. The body parts associated with this chakra include the small intestine, womb, genitals, circulatory system, kidneys, bladder. In males, the difference between the first two chakras is very subtle, but in females, the womb is definitely part of the second chakra. The functions of the chakra as the element of the chakra is water, therefore the chakra corresponds to all bodily functions having to do with liquids like circulation of the blood, urinary elimination, sexuality and reproduction. So let's look at a brief description of the auric layer associated with this chakra. The second auric body is called the emotional body and is associated with feelings. The emotional body is finer than the etheric body that it surrounds and roughly has the shape of the physical body. Its structure is much more fluid than the etheric and appears to be like colored clouds of fine substance in continual fluid motion. The colors vary from brilliant clear hues to dark muddy hues depending on the clarity or confusion of the feeling that produces them. Clear emotions like love, excitement, joy or anger are bright and clear. The feelings that are confused are dark and muddy. As a person works on the emotions and releases them during therapy, colored blocks, blobs are thrown into the emotional body. The emotional body extends 1 to 3 inches beyond the physical body. So let's look at the psychological function of the chakra. This sacral chakra is related to sexuality, emotions, creativity, pleasure and procreation. And let's talk about the pleasure principle. So human beings as a species is instinctually programmed to move away from pain and towards pleasure. Freud called this the pleasure principle. However, pleasure also means to get deeper into our body and feeling fulfilled. And this can be a foundation of power, love, creativity and meditation which are aspects of the higher chakras. Pleasure and emotional sensations are processed in a lower section of the brain called the limbic system. The limbic system controls the hypothalamus which controls the hormonal levels and regulation of the autonomic nervous system functions such as heart rate, blood pressure and breathing. Therefore soothing stimulation to this part of the brain actually helps to regulate these hormones and relax. Pleasure helps the mind and body establish better communication. Through pleasure, we learn to relax and release tension. Impulses then flow freely throughout the whole organism without fear of suppression. 
Gradually, these impulses create rhythmic, coherent patterns soothing to the whole nervous system. Pleasure is essential for the health of the body, the rejuvenation of spirit and the healing of our personal and cultural relationship. The second chakra is all about duality, the polarity of yin and yang, masculine and feminine. The duality is a two-edged sword. We have to enjoy the pleasures without becoming excessively attached to it. Let's talk about another aspect of the sacral chakra which is the emotions. We all have heard that emotions are energy in motion. When we emote, we are moving energy out of the unconsciousness through the body and into the conscious mind. This flow of consciousness changes the body, cleanses it and heals it. When we block an emotion, we restrict movement. The emotion may remain in the unconscious, meaning we are unaware of it, yet still wreak havoc in our lives. It is operating from the unconscious motivations that gets us in trouble. It takes energy to repress these emotions. So releasing emotions releases tension. Absence of tension creates a more harmonious life, allowing us to have deeper connection with others. Another aspect of this chakra is the sexuality. Sexuality is a sacred ritual of union through the celebration of differences. Being sexual union dissolves the boundaries or separateness between two individuals. In yogi culture, celibacy is encouraged as a way to bypass the center and send the sexual energy up the spine to the higher centers. However, where most of humanity is right now, repressing sexuality may decrease the life force energy in the center as sex can be a way to bathe the sacral chakra pair with the life force energy. So what does balance in this chakra look like? The sacral chakra exists as a pair. The frontal second chakra can be referred to as 2A and corresponding chakra in the rear is called 2B. 2A is related to the quality of love for one's partner when it is open, it facilitates giving and receiving physical and sexual pleasure. The person will probably enjoy sexual intercourse and probably be orgasmic. 2B is related to the quantity of sexual energy of a person. When it is open, the person feels his sexual power. The Swadhisthana Chakra relates to the water element and like water, the sacral energy controls fluidity, versatility and freedom, whether sexual, emotional or creative. When in balance, someone feels an abundance of creativity and pleasure. Here is a list of signs and attributes of a balanced sacral chakra. Being creative emotionally balanced, feels comfortable in their sexuality and intimacy, passionate, respects self and others, strong healthy boundaries, feeling comfortable in one's own skin, flowing with life, comfortable with change, orgasmic and enjoys sexual pleasure. So what does imbalance in this chakra look like? Imbalance can be caused either because this chakra is excessively open or closed. 2A is related to the quality of love for one's partner. When it is close, the person may not enjoy sexual intercourse or may not have orgasm. 2B is related to the quantity of sexual energy of a person. When it is close, the person may have low sex drive. When sacral chakra is blocked or underactive, you may be experiencing a sense of lack of control ranging from uncertainty to an inability to cope with life's challenges. When the sacral chakra becomes blocked, it often detaches the person from their emotions and those around them. When out of balance, a person feels emotionally unstable, sexual dysfunction and also has a lack of creative energy. So let's look at a list of signs and attributes of a blocked or underactive sacral chakra. So, some of the signs are low libido uh, or low sex drive, shy away from sex or getting intimate, fear of pleasure, detached, inability to express emotions or desires, frigidity, not authentic to oneself, lack of desire, fear of change, lack of creativity and low vitality. 
If one's second chakra is overactive, one may experience issues of excess and conflict from thriving on drama to having unhealthy relationships. When the sacral chakra is overwhelmed with energy, it will make one feel overwhelmed. The person may feel emotions more deeply, experience mood swings or become overly dependent on others. When the sacral chakra is excessively open, one tends to be obsessed with pleasure and may be too negative. Here is a list of signs and attributes of an overactive sacral chakra, somebody with an addictive personality, multiple sexual partners, um, excessive emotional attachment, emotional overreactions, uh, being an aggressive personality, anxiety, um, dramatic codependency. These are all signs of an overactive sacral chakra. We, all, we will also talk about how the malfunction of the sacral chakra manifests in our physical body. In our physical body, this malfunction may result in impotence, frigidity, uterine issues, bladder or kidney trouble, stiff lower back, lower back pain, poor circulation, leg cramps. And these are all signs of a blocked sacral chakra. What can we do to balance this chakra? Any sort of exercises that involve movement of the hips and the lower abdomen and are great ways to open up this chakra. Some are aimed at just opening the center while others are aimed at stimulating and moving energy in and through the, this chakra. Nurturing activities like massage, long baths, hot baths, showers and, or swimming are also helpful in opening this chakra. So um, some foods to eat, all sorts of food that are liquids um, because this chakra is associated with water, liquids like juices, herbal teas, water are all good to balance this chakra. Or you can eat fruits, vegetables that are of orange color. When your sacral chakra feels out of whack, you may naturally find yourself craving foods that will bring it to balance like sweet potatoes, carrots, melons, mangoes, pumpkins, orange citrus fruits, butternut squash, fermented food or any other naturally orange colored food. The gemstones that you can meditate with uh, for this chakra includes the carnelian, orange calcite, moonstone, coral. The seed mantra associated with this chakra is Vam. Seed mantra is contains the essence of this chakra and chanting Vam or meditating with the seed mantra is a great way to open up this chakra. Exercises to stimulate this chakra or some yoga poses include God, the goddess pose, the pelvic rock pose, hip circles, scissor kicks can all help and open and activate this chakra. And another way to open up this chakra is by getting your creative juices flowing. The sacral chakra is all about creative expression. So doing something creative that is fun for you like cooking, painting, drawing, baking, gardening, art or anything else that you love to do will help activate this chakra and there are sound healing so sound frequencies um, for the sacral chakra is a 417 hertz uh, which is meant to make space for creativity by bringing clarity and transformation into your body and mind and another um, frequency that you can use is the 288 hertz uh, which helps you let uh, go of the draining negative emotions and addictions so let's talk about some affirmations that can be useful for this chakra. Some affirmations that I would use are I deserve to enjoy life. The universe is full of sweetness and beauty. I am peaceful, joyful, creative and spontaneous. Rest and play are regular part of my healthy life. I am open to the flow of creativity. I allow the creative energy to flow through me. I allow my emotions 
to flow in a balanced and healthy way. I flow with life, with grace and ease. I live a creative, vibrant and passionate life. Pleasure is a sacred part of my life. I embrace my sensuality and sexuality. I deserve to enjoy sexual pleasures. I honor my sacred body and treat it with respect. I allow myself to be treated with respect. I treat others with respect. I have strong boundaries and assert my boundaries. I respect other people's boundaries. As I love and respect myself, healing happens naturally. I live a harmonious, anxiety-free life. I trust the process of life. Change is constant and I am comfortable with change. Some essential oils that we could use to activate our sacral chakra include um, orris root, gardenia and demenia. So I hope you have had a fairly good idea on the functions of the sacral chakra as well as how we can clear out the blocks on, in the sacral chakra um, with all the techniques that we discussed today. Um, so if you find my videos helpful, I highly encourage you to su subscribe as well as like and comment on my videos. I'll see you in another video soon. Till then, bye.